Hello Heartfitters, Bruce here again with a workout today that is going to help you remain healthy and active. To help you age strongly, that's the motto we have, have at Heartfit. Um, today's workout, uh, we're working on three things, mobility, strength and cardio. So we're going to do a mobility exercise followed by a strength exercise and a cardio exercise. And I've got nine different groups of three to get through today, so it's a really good workout. So, as we always have in our hard fit sessions, there's, I often show you options on progressing to a more advanced level or going at a more beginner's, less advanced level, so there's progressions and regressions. I encourage you to find your place where you can work within your range but still push yourself out of your comfort zone slightly to improve your health and well-being. Okay, so it's all about progression if you can, but not pushing through issues. If you have issues with ankles and knees, hips or shoulders, we need to work with those things rather than through them. We won't, don't want you injuring yourself more through doing our exercises, we want to improve your health. So work within your, within your range, within your means, but still, if you can, progressing th um, with some intensity where you can. So, we want today to have um, some equipment if you have it. So for the mobility exercises, if you have something light, such as a, a ball, any kind of ball you might have in your home, be it a football, a softball, netball, no, sorry, not a softball, a netball or a basketball. You can even have something like a, um, I've got here an uh, exercise roller. I've even got an example of a doorstop. Hector here weighs about two or three kilo. You can use that kind of um, item just to get, move your body. If you haven't got any, um, thing to use, you can even get a cushion off your lounge chair. If you just use body weight, it's still, it's still okay, but this is having a, something light helps you just to move your body, okay? That's for mobility. You can also use a light dumbbell for those as well. Um, Strength-wise, uh, these exercises are mainly geared towards using a band. If you have a band, fantastic. You could even use a light dumbbell or two light dumbbells for some of these exercises. Again, if you're using body weight, you still get a good, good workout by going through a range of motion, okay? You can also grab two water bottles or two jars or cans out of your pantry for the strength. For the cardio today, uh, you could use two light dumbbells as we do some marching and jogging, uh, but mainly geared towards having no equipment and just moving your body uh, to your potential, okay? So, let's start with a warm up. Just make sure and when you're moving today, you've got room around you. You're not going to trip over any dumbbells or any bands or any remote controls or whatever you might have on in your, in your floor. Make sure you're not going to trip over, okay? So let's start with a warm-up. Gently getting our bodies moving. Let's start with hands up and hands through legs. Breathe in as you look at the ceiling and hands through legs. As you come up here, you're stretching through your hips at the front. As you go down, it's through your lower back and hamstrings, okay? So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. So get yourself set for an hour of activity, guys. It's a pretty good workout, this one. Now let's go now with feet apart, knees bent slightly, side to side, touching down towards your opposite shoe, okay? Warming through lower back and hamstrings if you can touch your opposite shoe, it's fantastic. If you can't, don't stress, okay? Just go towards the opposite shoe as far as you can. Bend the knees slightly, it takes pressure off your lower back. Five, four, three, two, good work. Coming up, let's go side to side. I want you to swing. Think about possibly swinging your cricket bat or tennis racket or golf club. If it feels comfortable, look over your shoulder as you do this. Rotate through the torso, warming everything up. So as we begin today, you might be thinking, well, I want to age strongly. 
if we're fortunate enough to live a good long life, none of us want to be old and frail and weak. We want to age strongly so we can live life to the full. That's the old motto. So, now let's kick your heels up towards your butt. Like so, warming up knee joints, thighs at the front, hamstrings at the back. This is where you might, if you have a bit of a knee that's not great, just feel it. Just warm it up. It's amazing how often when you begin to do some exercise, a joint that's causing a lot of discomfort and pain, strengthening the muscles around that joint can help that and take away a little bit of discomfort and pain. It won't fix it, but it might take away the bit of discomfort and increase your mobility. Now, warm up squats, guys. Ten slow ones. Remember our squat technique. We go back first, as if we're going to sit on a chair and come up again. Push your hips back and come up. Breathe in. As you go down, breathe out as you come up. Breathe in. Breathe out. The lower body exercises, I know that some of us have issues with hips and knees, just go within your range. Two more. Nine. And ten. Good job. Shake it out. So now, let's go upper body. Let's roll the shoulders back gently if you need to. Getting ourselves warmed up. If your shoulders are okay, give them a bit of a spin. Look after those ones if you need to. Now, lean forward slightly. Butterfly stroke. Up and over. Get those shoulders moving. Now let's even do a couple of crisscross. Stand up nice and tall and open your chest up and squeeze those shoulder blades together. That's it. Start to breathe in a bit as you increase your heart rates. Nice deep breathing. Okay, good. So let's um let's do one minute to get really warmed up. We're going to do 10 seconds of um, marching or jogging. You can jog or march on the spot, then 10 seconds of boxing, okay? So with the boxing, transfer the weight left and right. Okay? I'll start some music. And we'll roll through one, just one minute. Okay, let's start with march or jog. Push it out. Come forward and back. Punch it out. Team. If you haven't already got it, make sure you've got some water available and sip on water during the session. Have a, have a sip as you go, stay hydrated. Now, so we're going to roll through the round one. We're doing 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off through these nine rounds. So I'll roll through pretty quickly. I'll give you some uh, variations as we go um, to try to help you choose which way you're going to go with your variations. If you uh, have trouble keeping up, just that's fine. Just go when you can. If you're with me, fantastic. Okay, so first exercise is a squat shovel. So I want you to um, use potentially your ball or a cushion from the lounge or whatever you might have. I want you to go down towards the floor as if you're going to pick something up and touch the object and over your left shoulder, go down over your right shoulder. Okay, adapt if you need to. I'll start the music first, then I'll start the timer and say go, okay? Ready? And, and go! So, 
touch, shovel, touch, shovel. Hips go back. Nice work, guys. Four seconds to go. Five seconds. Done. Nice work. Now, that was mobility. Now, strength. We're doing shoulder press. If you have a band. I want you to, we're doing two rounds. The first round is 30 seconds, second round is 20. So go towards your non-dominant side. So if you're right-handed, let's go left. For the band, let's work on that non-dominant weaker side, so to speak. If you have dumbbells, using this way. Body weight, just through that range, okay? Away we go. Dumbbells options. Body weight, just go through. If you've got body weight, you might go a little bit quicker. Full extension. Band. Elbow tucked in. Take it up nice and high. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Keep the good breathing going. Now hold your breath. Three, two, done. Just make sure you got your equipment clear. So we've done mobility, strength, now cardio. This first cardio one is again a march or a jog on the spot in five seconds. Go. Let me come back and forward. Or we're going to just march it out. Halfway. You might do a combination of jogging and marching. You can break it up. Two, one. Good job. That's the first round done. Now, next one is the mobility exercise around the world, I call it. I want you to grab your light object. It could be a ball, it could be a dumbbell, it could be a cushion, okay? Ball or object starts here. We go back into that squat and around the world, I call it, around the world. If you have issues with mobility, don't go down as low, but if you can, nice and low, okay? Around the world. All right. Where we go. Strength exercise is a deadlift. If you have a band, lay it flat on the floor, feet wide, then pick up the band and stand up, just to your waist. With the band and with a bit of resistance, it adds some load. Okay? If you have no equipment, just push your hands down towards the floor, pretend to pick something up and stand up. Two dumbbells, push them down. Stand up, okay? Away we go. And I breathe in, guys. I breathe in as I go down. That's it. Breathe in. Breathe out. With a band. Standing up. Just to, you're not lifting your bum, your waist. Just your waist only. We've got nine seconds. It's all about improving our strength and mobility through our hips, 
two, one. Done. Good work. Now cardio. We're doing some boxing. Dumbbells, body weight, or band. You put your band around like a towel. We're going in five seconds, guys. Go. Like this. Punch it out. You can use dumbbells, you can use body weight. Fast as you can. Speed, speed, speed. It's all about the heart rate. Ten seconds left. Good job. So, now, next exercise is lunging. Lunging is not easy. If you need to, I recommend you using, use a wall or a chair or a bench to assist you, okay? So you can, so ledge here, you can use a ledge. Using a ledge, if that helps you get down lower and activate these hips more and lower leg muscles, that's fantastic, okay? Just be conscious of, we're going to step backwards, conscious of your front knee, not coming over your front toe. Low as you can, change legs every time, okay? Left and right. Find your best area to use. Wave we go. Step back, step forward, change legs. If you can't get down all the way down, that's fine. Just step back. That challenges your balance. Down a little bit, down as low as you can. Halfway, keep going. Left and right. Chest up, chin up. Eight seconds. Three, two, done. Okay, our strength exercise is an upright row. You can use dumbbells from your waist up to your chin, up to your shoulders. Body weight, still very good for your range of motion. And a band, one foot either end, okay? Give a gap between your hands up here. Let's go team. Bring it down as you come up. Got just eight seconds left. Yeah. Nice one. Now the cardio. We've got three types of cardio today: marching, jogging, boxing, and skipping or jumping. So the skip, come off your heels or a high skip, or you can jump. Ready? I'll demonstrate as we go. You can skip like so, or just a, a small skip with your heel off the floor, or the most challenging option is to jump, like so. More work through your lower body, more work for your heart rate, or skipping. Choose your option. Eight seconds. Very good. So, a little bit of water at this stage. Recover. Nice deep breathing. Breathe down into your belly and breathe out to recover. Enjoy that recovery. Okay, now, next one is again lower body. We're going to use a lunge. This time pulsing. 15 seconds each side. I want you to sit up. One leg back here, if you need to, hold a chair, a wall, bench, and we're going down as low as you can and pulse. Don't come all the way up, just pulsing up and down like so much, okay? After 15 seconds, we'll change sides. Let's go, guys. 
lunge pulse. Make sure the front knee's not over your front toe. Watch your balance. It engages these lower leg muscles nicely, I know. Change sides, guys. Again, if you have issues with mobility, just go to where you can. Three, two, done. Nice work. Shake those legs out. Now, strength, we're doing pull apart. If you had dumbbells, you pull apart this way. Open the chest up and squeeze those shoulder blades together. Okay, nice and strong. You have a band, find your resistance and pull the band apart, okay? If you have body weight, just go all the way out, all the way in. Okay, helps your posture and your strength. Away we go, pull apart. Recover. Now, our exercise cardio is marching or jogging, okay? It's five seconds. On the spot, jogging or marching. There you go. the fact that you're moving your body guys. Eight seconds. Yeah. I just love that buzzer. <laughs> it's good. So next one as you recover. Make sure you get a bit of room. This mobility exercise is two, is I call two step dash. I want you to come forward two or three steps, whatever key you're comfortable with. Hips out, touch the floor if you can, back pedal. Make sure there's no, nothing trip, no trip hazards around you. It's all about mobility of the hips, back and forward. Okay? If you can touch the floor, they're fantastic. You can go slow, you can go quick. The back pedaling is really good for your coordination and your confidence, okay? So let's go back and forth. Two step dash. And go. Go forward. Come back. Step it out. And go faster. Now strength, we're doing bicep curls with a band or dumbbells or body weight. Body weight, here to here. Dumbbells, all the way down, all the way up. Working through the biceps and your bone density through your forearms. With a band, one hand either end and two feet on the band and strong and come up here, okay? Let's go. Bicep curls. Stand strong, stand tall. Halfway now. Six seconds, guys. Three, two, nice work. 
in our room. Cardio. We're going boxing next in 15 seconds. Get ready. I'll use dumbbells this time. Again, have a little bit of water if you like. Now, we're doing a mobility with your ball or your dumbbell. We're just going hands up here, straight legs, straight arms. So it's working through your mobility, through your hips, and also works on some good balance muscles, okay? 30 seconds, or turn leg kicks. Where we go? This way. Just being conscious of that nice deep breathing. Stay focused. Some of these exercises, you've got to own it. You've got to decide, I'm going to do this properly. For maximum benefit. A bit uncomfortable now. You feel good after, team. We're getting close. Five seconds to go. Nice work. Next one is a lawnmower pull. So go non-dominant side with a dumbbell. Left hand if you're right-handed. From your knee to shoulder, like so. With a band. Right foot in the band if you're left handed. You're going left and pull. Like the lawnmower starter, okay? Away we go. Dumbbell will cut this. Body weight, go through that range. Last eight seconds. Nice work. Now, for cardio, we're doing a skip or a jump. Really nice skip. Four seconds, skipping or jumping. Where you go? More intensity. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah. Good work. We've got three of these thirty second rounds to go. Recovering. Sip on that water. So, this one is a squat press. You can choose to use something light. You can choose to use dumbbells if you like, or a ball or a cushion. We're going to push our hips back, touch the floor. This time, come up into a press, okay? Squat press. Mobility of the whole body, okay? We are set. A bit of volume. Touch and press. If you need to, you can even sit on the chair now. You can sit 
and stand to still very good mobility, okay? You want to go faster? Please do! And back it up if you need to. Five seconds left here. Well done. So now, strength. We're doing a front raise with dumbbells. It looks like this. Front raise. Body weight. Take your shoulder full extension if you can with a band. It's probably the most challenging option. One hand either end of the band, one foot on the band, and we do this. Not easy. Go as high as you can, arms are straight, team. And away we go. Cover. In 10 seconds, guys, we're going marching or jogging for 30. Three, two, go. Work team. Okay. As you recover a little bit, I'll show you the next one. It's called a figure eight. If you can, I want you down into a squat position and grab an object of your choice. It could be the ball, it could be a roller, it could be a cushion. Squat position and feed the ball, the object through your legs in a figure eight. It works on your grip strength and your endurance through your lower body. If you need to, you can even, if you need to have a rest, you can sit on the chair and feed through, okay? There's options always to progress or regress with half fit, okay? So, figure eight. Let's go. Can you stay down here nice and low? Halfway! Feel the burn, it's beautiful! Aging strongly, five seconds only. Nice work! Okay. Next one is, guys, stir the pot. Stir the pot is this action here. With this kind of object, it's quite easy. But if you add in a band, particularly, it's quite challenging. One foot either end. Grab the band with two hands, sit chest high, and spin. Two dumbbells, you can do the same, okay? For 30 seconds, stir the pots. Where we go? And halfway, we'll change direction. Okay, change direction now. Five, four, Two, one. Good work. 
Guys, let's go boxing. Recover for another 10 seconds. Ready to go. Aim up. Push it out. Great job. Right. One more round of three seconds before a bit of a break. This one. First one is uh, two options. First option, I call it top shelf. With your object, it could be a cushion or your ball, or whatever you have. Touch the floor, come up off your heels on your toes and top shelf action, okay? Working through your calves, your legs, your balance muscles, okay? Touch, top shelf. That's the first option. If you'd like to progress it, I do what you call a basketballer. Touch your object on the floor and jump as you shoot the basketball, okay? You might start with a couple of those and go, oh, no, 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 that's not me today. Right, that's fine. Go back to the top shelf, okay? Ready. Where we go? Touch and top shelf. Or touch and shoot. You do a few of each. Last 10 seconds. Okay, this one, for strength, is what I call a pec deck, it's, the pecs are here, the action is this way, body weight, elbows and chest high, going back and forward, back and forward, with a band, looks like this, You're using your chest muscles here guys, out and in. Finding resistance is challenging. Different to the pull apart, that's the pull apart. This is elbows in, elbows higher, okay? With the dumbbell, looks like this. Okay? I'll use your band. Are you set? Choose your options. Where we go. Pull apart. Elbows in, elbows out. Nice work. And our final 30 second effort for the day is the skipping or jumping, okay? Let's have a skip or a jump in five seconds. Slowly if you like. Faster or jumping. Halfway. Awesome work, guys. Have a breather. Have some water. 
We need a towel, have a towel off. Uh, it's good work guys. So, round one is the hardest. Longest. We've done that. Now, second round is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Rest is short. The 20 seconds is more achievable because it's 20 not 30, but there's a short break in between. So okay, if you find it difficult to keep going, let's just take your, take your time and ease into it or jump in where you can, okay? So, let's adjust the timer. 20 seconds now for 10 recovery. As I always say guys, work out with intensity while you're still young. So at HeartFit, we don't allow you to call yourself old until you're 95, okay? That's the official age, we can call yourself old. Until then, you're a young person, so we might need to change the way you think about aging. That's good, that's fine. So, squat shovel is our first. So we're going to go Squat with your object or your body weight. Shovel over left, shovel over right, okay? We all know the routine. Now you've done it once, you can go through it reasonably quickly. We've been going for 40 minutes, guys. Just 20 to go. Of course, this has been recorded, so you could press pause if you have to, but don't recommend it, okay? So. Uh, adjusting my timer. Okay guys, are you ready? Squat shovel. I'll use my roller. And go! Shoulder press guys, shoulder press. If you're using band, go do, do your dominant hand now, right? Or dumbbells, two of them. Go! This way, or this way. Or if you had to, or body weight. Nice work, 10 seconds rest. Make sure you've got no equipment around you. Cardio, we're going mobility, strength, cardio. We're doing marching and jogging, go. Volume. Team. Breathe it in. We're going around the world. Grab your dumbbell or your ball or your cushion. Punch it out. As speed as you can, as speed. Well done. Okay, 
Okay. So now we're going to do a lunge now. We're going to lunge left, lunge right. We're going to step backwards. Again, use a chair if you need to, or your wall or your bench. Step back and forward. Ready? There you go. If you can, keep going low. If you can't, just step back. Dip as far as you can, come forward. Five seconds. Upright row with your band or your dumbbells. Go. The pace is up to you guys. Upright row followed by skipping or jumping next. Nice work. Taking 10 seconds, skipping, and go. It can be a gentle skip just off the heels, or it can be more intense, or even a jump if you prefer. Nice work. Okay, so we're going to use a lunge again, this time pulsing, just 10 seconds either side, as you recover, get set up, one foot back as far as you can, use that chair if you need to, and go, pulsing, Just for 10 seconds, we're going to change. Three, two, change it up. Change legs at the back and the front. Three, two, nice work. Next one's pull apart. Bands or dumbbells, and there's not much risk here, guys. You're doing well. Pull apart. Away we go. You can use dumbbells like this. Pull apart. Open the chest up. Squeeze those shoulder blades. It's strength and it's also posture. Range of motion stuff. Good work. Okay, we're gonna go marching or jogging. Ready? Alright guys, let's roll on, two or three step forward, two or three step back, and touch the floor if you can, way to go. Keep your chest up, halfway. Okay guys, bicep curls, with your band or your dumbbells. Are we set? Let me go. Bicep curl. As you come up, breathe out. Five, four. Well done. Okay. Boxing, guys. Punch it out.
Nice work. We're over halfway. Have a sip of water. We've got four rounds to go. Have a bit of water, guys. Doing well. Stay focused. Okay. Next one. 20 seconds of an object down, straight arms, straight legs. We're kicking alternate legs, okay? The higher your foot goes up towards your hip height, the more you're challenging your hip mobility and your balance. So high as you can, if you need to, touch a wall, touch a bench, touch a chair, and go. Lawnmower pull. If you're using a band, use your more favoured side here. Way to go. Pull up from your knee, up above your shoulder if you can. Pull. Dumbbell like this. Okay, skipping or jumping for 20 seconds only. Three, two. Okay, three to go. Now we are doing squat press. So if you, if you can, grab a couple of dumbbells or your cushion or your ball, touch the floor with it. Come up and press above your head, okay? If you're finding it difficult, you can even moderate it by just doing the press above your head. Eliminate the squat. So you've got options there, guys. You haven't got to stick to what everything I say. You can modify. But don't go soft on me either. Okay. guys. Dumbbells will bend. This way. Where we go. Straight arms. How high can you go? That's it. Three, two, one. And done. Good job. Okay, marching and jogging. Okay, next one is our figure eight. Can we go down low in the squat and feed that ball or the dumbbell through your legs? And go. Ten seconds. Stay with it. Okay guys, stir the pot. Two dumbbells.
dumbbells or body weight or band. 10 seconds one way, 10 the other way. Hold it here. Go. Change direction, very late. Sorry. <laughs> Done. Boxing team. 20 seconds. Punch it out. I'll go body weight this time. Go. Seven seconds. One, two. Nice work. Okay. The towel off. Okay. We've come to the last round. So you've got three by twenty. One minute of work to go. It's it for the day, okay? So well done for choosing to go through this whole workout. Great job. Let's push on and finish it off with a one minute burst, three by 20. First one's basketballer or top shelf. Here to here or here and jump, okay? Pick up your dumbbell or your ball or your cushion. Away we go. Guys, last 20 seconds. Skipping or jumping? Let's do it. Awesome job guys, we have finished, fantastic work, let's have a bit of water, we're going to have a stretch, let's have a bit of water first, relax, if you can grab yourself a chair, put on some soothing music, Let's um, just ease into it as you uh, recover. I want you to start sitting down. I want you to get your elbows back here like this. We used a fair bit of our upper body today, so open your chest up and squeeze those shoulder blades together, just stretching out nicely. As you do so, take a nice deep breath in. Turn in your belly and breathe out. Well done. Relax. Now, with your neck, I want you to take your chin and your ear towards the opposite to the shoulder, same shoulder. Okay? You can be sitting down doing this. I'm standing so I can show you easier. Show you. I'll sit down and do those legs in a second. Change sides. Good. Now, chin down towards your chest and throw back behind you. Chin down, chin back. Chin down, chin back. Good work. Now, let's reach our shoulders. 
Just come across your arm body with your arm, forearm into elbow, here. Stretch through this shoulder here, that's it. Change sides, across we go. So guys, you've done an hour of workouts today, whatever time it is in, in your world, well done. Now triceps, there's three muscles in the back of your arm that like to be stretched out. Hand up, back of your neck here, pull it across diagonally. Nice stretch through here. The tricep stretch. Good, release, chain sides. Like so. Good, now, on your chair, we get mine set up here. I want you to sit down here, have one leg forward and straight, slide your hand down your leg, your fingertips as low as you can, down to your shin, your foot, your shoe and beyond if you can. You might feel a bit uncomfortable behind the knee, that's a good thing, it's stretching it out, okay, the hamstrings, back of your leg, gently change side, slowly change, down we go, sliding, 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 keep that leg straight. This is where the hamstrings join at your knee. Next one we're going to do is try to stretch up higher where your hamstrings join your glutes, where your butt muscle, okay? So, this time, one knee out of the way, uh, this one here, other. Slight bend, palms towards the floor. If you can't feel it up higher, up in here, I want you to straighten the knee, push your butt back in the chair and go lower. You should feel it up high near where your hamstrings join your glutes, okay? Just breathe through that little bit of discomfort, see if there's some there. It's a good stretch. Change and release, change sides. Down we go. Low as you can. Good job. Now, standing up or sitting down with your chair or your bench or your wall, stand up and grab your ankle like this. Uh, grab your foot, sorry, not your ankle. And stretch it through the thigh. If it can't, if that's too difficult, sit down on the chair, one foot back. And if you're on the front of the chair, lean back. Stretch through this front thigh. There's four quad muscles there like to be stretched too. Okay? Very important to, in our mobility to stretch and be more flexible. Okay? We can become more flexible if you do it regularly. Change sides, guys, if you're standing or sitting. Back we go. And one more stretch after this, our calf stretch. So in your recovery, as you should know, plenty of recovery through good hydration, water, okay? Stay hydrated. Now, calf stretch. With your leg straight, heel on the floor, hips towards the chair, pushing heel back on that floor still, okay? It's a nice stretch for the top of the calf here. Okay, now bring your foot forward. So now your knees bent, both of them bent. Heel back on the floor and slide in again towards the chair. You should feel this one down lower, Achilles tendon and calf area. Good. Change legs, heel back and slide in. So now as you start to recover, bring the foot in, heel on the floor. You may start to feel a bit of a sense of accomplishment, sense of uh, relief, it's over possibly. But well done team in deciding to work out today, taking this on to help you age strongly. Well done, so thank you for joining me. I look forward to working out with you again very soon. Cheerio.